There is a brand new player in the world of coding tools and it's making some serious waves. We are talking about a completely free open source AI software engineer which ranked at the very top of the SWE bench for open source agents. That's a huge achievement. Meet Refact AI. This tool is not just smart. It's designed to be fully fledged development partner. Refact is not your average code assistant. It's self-learning agent that can work alongside you as it were another teammate sitting right in your IDE. Refact AI does not just write code. It understands how you work. It adapts to your coding habits, align with your workflow and integrate right into your development environment. Whether you are in the middle of a large scale backend build or doing some quick front end changes, Refact automatically chooses to the best large language model for each specific job. Even cooler, it's entirely free and you can self host it. That means no cloud lock in, no surprise charges and total privacy and control. It's rare to find a tool that combines this level of performance, flexibility and freedom. But Refact is more than just a clever plugin. It's a fully autonomous engineer. It can actually plan, execute and deploy across multiple types of environments. Imagine it like a teammate embedded in your IDE that handles real world programming tasks for you. It gets deep into your stack, understand the architecture and work in real time without making you feel like you are babysitting a chatbot. You stay in control the whole time, whether you are working with microservices, legacy code bases or REST APIs. It gives you the power to preview and tweak its work as it builds alongside you. Its chat interface is familiar and intuitive, something like having your favorite code savvy friend just a message away. It gives you root code suggestions, understand the broader context of your entire project and can react to the updates you make live. No constant re-prompting, no breaking flaws, it keeps up with you as you work. What's wild is how naturally it fits into your existing tools. It does not feel like adding another extension. It feels like upgrading your IDE with a full-on AI co-pilot that actually capable of understanding your code base as deeply as you do. Now here is why this is such a big deal. Refact just become the number one ranked open source AI agent on SWE verification test. That means it solved 352 out of 500 real software engineering tasks, an absolutely massive win, resulting in a verified score of 70.4%. That puts it far ahead of most competing tools, including some paid tools as well. And the best part is, this was not a cherry picked demo. This was a standardized benchmark that tested real world performances. For anyone who is unfamiliar from SWE Bench, it's like the gold standard for measuring how capable agents are at solving various software engineering tasks. It doesn't just upgrade output quality, it measures planning, execution, and completion across realistic scenarios. Refact ranking here put it in the league of most advanced autonomous coding agents available today. This thing can actually write, test and refine your software while working shoulder to shoulder with you. Getting started is very simple. You can install Refact directly into your JetBrain IDEs or VS Code. It also plays well with tools like Cursor or Windsurf. But for this guide, we will be focusing on VS Code only. All you have to do is head over to the VS Code marketplace, search for Refact and hit that install button. Make sure VS Code is already installed and launched. Once you are in the marketplace, just click install and let it do its thing. It's really that simple. After installation, you will see it pop up in the sidebar on the left panel inside VS Code. The installation process is smooth and quick and the tool is completely open source so transparency is not an issue. After a few moments, you will notice the Refact extension is active and ready to go. At this point, all that's left is to log in, either through your Google account, GitHub or even by creating a free account using your email. No payment, no subscription, just plug and play. Once you are logged in, you will have full access to Refact inside your IDE. Start by creating a new chat session. This is your control center. 
you will be able to tweak model preferences, view your request history and interact any natural language just like you would with ChatGPT. But this time it's all connected to your code base. You can write in tasks, generate functions, refactor files, whatever you need and refact will handle it. It's like having access to multiple models without jumping between platforms. Speaking of models, the versatility here is incredible. Refact support everything from ChatGPT 4.0 to Claude 4 and Gemini 2.5 Pro. Also, you can bring your own API key and plug in whatever model you want. That includes free one like Kilo Code or the Gemini Flash APIs. Want to experiment with new providers? No problem. Just jump into the setting panels, click on configure providers and enter the API key of your choice. You can use services like DeepSeek or even Open Router to connect to open models with no cost. This flexibility is honestly one of the Refact's strongest feature. You are not locked into one company's pricing structure or limitations. You can mix and match provider, test different models and keep your stack lightweight and customizable. Once you have configured your model, head back to the main interface. Now you can start issuing prompts like build me a startup homepage or write unit test for this controller. Refact will generate a step-by-step -step action plan and execute each part with clarity. It's seriously fun to watch. I asked Refact to create a SaaS landing page. Within seconds, it broke the tasks into manageable sub-tasks and started tackling each one in sequence. Their level of organizations mean fewer error as compared to some other AI tools. Refact build a plan, stick to it and lets you preview or tweak each step as needed. It's almost like watching an assistant developer working on a checklist. But this assistant never sleeps. And this is what really makes Refact a standout. It's not just generating code, it's thinking through the logic behind the tasks. It walks through the planning, execution and final product in a way that feels deliberate and intelligent. It makes development feel more collaborative. It feels like you are got a sharp-minded teammate helping you solve problems. And again, it's totally free and local if you want it to be. Refact just completed our landing page using the Sonnet model and the result looks seriously polished. This was built without spending a dime and that's the power of open accessible AI in your toolbox today. Refact does not just write code, it actually brings your ideas to life visually. It did not just create a plain structure. It added transitions, responsive layout behavior, and even added animated elements. It was seriously impressive and how effortlessly it laid the foundation for a modern landing page. It felt like working with a skilled junior developer who just need a bit of direction. Now let's rewind and walk through the rest of the feature built into the Refact. Because trust me, there is a lot of more under the hood. Once you head over to the setting tab and explore the setup agent integration section, you will see how versatile Refact really is. You can connect it directly to GitHub to manage pull requests, sync with GitLab and even link up with popular databases like MySQL and Postgres SQL. But it does not stop there. You can also control your Chrome browser using command line interactions and integrate with a variety of MCPs. It's like giving your AI agent a toolkit that let it operate like a fully automated engineer with hands-on access to the everything it needs. And let's say you are unsure about how to set up one of these integrations. Refact can guide you through that too. You can simply deploy the Refact agent itself to help automate the setup process. For instance, I asked it to help me install Chrome for testing using NPM and it handled everything from setting the correct environment path to ensuring that executable could be accessible right from the Refact chat interface. Every time Refact make a change, it gives you the chance to review what was modified by showing you the diff view. You can analyze line by line what has been added, removed or altered. You can click to replace the section in one go. So if anything goes wrong or the agent generates something off track, you can instantly revert to a previous working session without stress. Also, it can perform active browser tasks such as taking a screenshot from a web page or anything like that. This setup worked perfectly and showed the power of combining Chrome automation with intelligent agent behavior. You can literally watch it take actions like navigating through a search result or gathering data from a site. 
without needing to lift a finger yourself. Refact comes with smart auto complete course suggestions and editable capabilities that feel intuitive. For example, you can highlight any block of code, right click it and choose from options like refactor, explain, add type hints or even comment every line. You can shorten functions, improve readability or just better understand what a snippet is doing. It's designed to be your AI co-pilot but with more freedom to customize how it helps you. So here is my honest take on Refact. It's definitely one of those AI coding agents that stand out for its capabilities. It's packed with features that you will recognize if you have tried tools like Code Assist, Cloud Code or even Rap.dev. While this functionality is fairly comparable across these platforms, the key difference with Refact lies in its open source models and how far it lets you go in terms of customizing your agent's behavior. That's flexibility alone might be the enough reason to try it out over the others. That said, don't expect it to completely blow every other tool out there. It's not reinventing the wheel. Most of its features like code completion, editing, or version rollback are things we have seen in other platforms too. But Refact wins point for its smooth user interface and thoughtful little touches like easy integration support and on-screen feedback during automation. It's subtle but effective. But in real-world projects, these kind of features can definitely boost the productivity. That pretty much covers it. Hopefully you found some value in this demo and walkthrough. Whether you are a solo developer, a startup founder or just someone curious about AI-powered coding tools, Refact could be something worth exploring. Alright, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, smash the like button if this helped you and leave a comment sharing what AI tool you are currently loving. Also take a look to our older videos, you might find something that solves a problem you did not even realize you had. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video and I will see you in the next one.